Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've been working with video for how long now? Combined? A long time. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> Dealing with a variety of formats and, and a lot of software out there that really doesn't work as well as the software uh, that we've discovered with uh, Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. And it really is ultimate. It converts just about any video format you can imagine into the any other video format that you could possibly imagine. And the nice thing is, uh, even though I'm running a Mac OS X here, it runs just as easily on Windows. And when I say easy, that's kind of the bottom line. I've got the Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate pulled up right here. And they've got, you know, nice little uh, uh, guidelines right here, right up front to show you, hey, this is what you can do with this particular software. Honestly, when they say ultimate, I really think they mean it. I mean, they're talking about being able to download and convert videos that yep. are on the web so you can view them in an offline capacity, uh, ripping DVDs in a lossless fashion. Uh, and of course, you know, if you've got DVDs, I mean, I, I have home movies that I have on DVD and if I wanted to rip them uh, to be able to watch them in a digital capacity and yep. transfer them to whether it's an iOS device, uh, I still have a PSP, like right behind you, you see? I. I still have a PSP. I probably I, have one in a box in my office. It's crazy. I still, I still have, I, I may be the only one on the planet who still has a PSP. And the nice thing is, is using the software, I could easily convert between one format or another, even all the way down to burning a DVD. So it's not just uh, taking video from digital uh, format and converting it to another digital format, but really pushing it back into a physical format, which some people still rely on. Well, it can be really convenient to do that. And, and one of the things that I would say, um, well, while they talk about lots of formats, I think probably if you do a lot of web downloading of video, uh, MKV and the RMVB formats are still two of the bigger ones that, that people um, share online. The RMVB? Uh, Real Media Variable Bitrate, uh, which is the open source version of the, the Real Player Codex. Okay. And when you say codec, I mean, I understand what it is, but could you explain? Well, I mean, so, so a codec is, uh, is basically the... Uh, to, to, put it in really layman's terms, is the uh, format that is used for encoding the, the video or the audio portion of the track. And in some cases, it, it can be, um, like H.264 is probably the, the currently the most well-known one that is used by like Apple's iTunes store. Um, it's used uh, in the AVCHD camcorders. So, um, but, but I mean, there's, there's lots of other codecs. Um, See, now the genius is, everything he's saying, I'm already going cross-eyed. So, because we're talking about all these technical terms, the beauty of this software, Video Converter Ultimate from Wondershare, is that it figures it out for you. It just does it. You don't have to worry about what it needs to be, what a codec is, what you have installed. This will do everything. So, one of the things uh, that I, I wanted to try was an old Windows Media video uh, that I had, like, recorded apparently, like, eons ago of me walking around recording my feet. <laughs> And I you must have had a lot of free time that day. I, you know, I must have an insane amount of free time. So I've got the file on my desktop. I simply drag and drop it in there, and it's ready to go. You know, I'm I've got it set to record into an MP4 format, and I can easily change that format between even a SWF file, a 3GP file, if I wanted to send it to uh, someone who an had Android a mobile user. phone, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or an Android user, or an iPhone user. I mean, it doesn't matter who or what you're trying to use this for. If you're trying to convert one video format to another, this takes care of everything stem to stern. In fact, I think uh, a few weeks ago when I needed to convert my old reel, it was in a Windows Media yep. format, uh, to an H.264, uh, uh, I guess you'd say, uh, what's another, uh, it's the uh, H.264 is... It's a codec. It's a codec, but what's the, the more technical term? It's an MPEG-4 file. MPEG-4, thank you. I Seriously, I was blanking on that. <laughs> There's so many video formats you have to keep in mind. And and we tried this, and Jake couldn't get the frames to match up with the audio correctly. And I was like, well, let's try the Wondershare software. And it worked like a charm. And as Jake was mentioning, uh, you know, making sure you get a higher or as high a quality video going out as you do coming in is something to keep in mind uh, when you're doing any type of transcoding and Wondershare's software, well, it's it kind of works wonders when it comes to this uh, re-encoding. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get going with it and that's it. Now, this is a fairly small file, so it looks like it's going to go very quickly. But it's insane how simple, did you see? I clicked like, two I didn't know. Does, I that, sound, does that sound mean that it's done? I, that... The sound probably means that it's done, I would only imagine. And it seems like, hey, one task has been finished. That was it. I, I clicked one button. I dragged the video in there and then really only needed to click one button because I had the format already selected, the MP4 file.
give it a shot. If you've got all those videos that you hadn't been able to pass along because they were in the wrong format, why not convert them? In one fell swoop, batch processing, import, export, job done. No muss, no fuss. Because it is the ultimate. Give it a shot. Download it right now. Free trial. What are you waiting for?